Excuse me, can I ask a couple questions about this drive here? Which one? So this e-bike drive, I've seen these pictures for the last two years online, yes. but I don't see any information anywhere. I don't see any bikes with this drive. So, can you walk me through what's going on with this thing? Yeah, actually, um, I'm not 100% sure if this is something that we're currently selling, but conceptually, we... Or tell about the concept of what's behind, what's performance, what's, you know, coming, or when is it going to be even the reality, if it's going to be... Yeah, so I don't exactly have that information ready for you here today. Um, it's something that if we want to set up a later meeting, we can okay. discuss a little bit further. Um, all of the information that we have readily available to share today is shown here. So it's all this here, right? Yeah. I see. But you don't know anything can talk about this, like what's performance, what's the concept so idea, is, what's behind? This and is actually how? a um, pretty modular device. It can be scaled up or down. It can be used in two-wheel, three-wheel, four-wheel vehicles. Um, the specifics of what we're looking at, I'm not 100% sure okay. which one this is. What was the power? was the rating? I don't have that on the top of my head. It's so it's only it. this information here and that's it, right? I see. No voltage, no power, no nothing. Um, for this guy, again, I'm not 100% sure as it is modular can be scaled up or down um, but we do produce several motors um, one of which being an 800 volt motor that's on 800 volt here today. but that's, that's but that's not for this yeah. application obviously but is it here on the table or not yes right over that's there. the one 800 that that's a, for the cars right yes and that is a wave wound motor so essentially we have a bunch of different types of winding and manufacturing technology we can do wave wound concentrated wound we can do hairpin winding um, mm -hmm. we can do switch switch reluctance motors um, mm -hmm. so essentially you name it we can manufacture it um, and what are the specs compared to tesla or lucid what's the power delivery what's the maintenance yep. how so long it lasts again, that is shown on the screen it is an 800 volt motor that can put out 310 kilowatts of power with a max torque of uh all cool information here i see yep yep i see i see i see, I see. Uh, can you tell us about maintenance what's uh, the maintenance of these motors so the maintenance um, it depends on the system that we're looking at however for the motors they tend to be lifetime motors um, lifetime okay so you don't have to change oil uh, it's actually supposed to live in vehicle maintenance free this guy um, with the mechanical coupling of gears I'm actually not 100% sure if oil has to be changed here but same sort of deal the motors themselves are no maintenance no maintenance yeah that's what I also I posted a short on Instagram with the Lucid motor is the most compact, the most power and the most efficient and it's 800 volts architecture and uh, it's no maintenance. The people that drive hundreds of thousands of miles and don't change anything and people yeah. complain and don't believe that. Well, that's one of our main cells of the free drive generator that you were looking at before is it gets rid of a lot of the mechanical coupling yeah. components. You no longer have a chain drive. Yeah. Your generator is not mechanically coupled to your drive motor and therefore there's not a lot of high maintenance components. Yeah. It's just bearings, right? Just bearings? Correct. But that's, you need to cover millions of miles, right? Correct. And there's no other wear and tear here. There's nothing, this gears will last a very long time. Yes. Yeah, I, I mean, there's a guy in Europe has a Tesla for over two million miles and he had issues and he replaced the battery like five, six times. He replaced motors, but that was like 2012 or 13 or 14 version, which was initially first uh, prototype sort of production thing, right? So things went wrong there. But if you have a perfect EV with a motor that's production, all tested, all uh, verified, it will last a very long time. Yeah. So that's what I, I saw that picture on Facebook all everywhere, but it's not much info. And uh, this can fix so many issues on the bikes today. Yes. So uh, it's a really cool, very compact, very, yeah. yeah. So don't quote me, but I don't believe that we're currently selling that. Product. Yeah, it's Where not. It's not for sale. Just as a concept it's, presented. Yeah. Yep. But we would like to get more information. What's the weight on it? Do you know? Uh, I honestly don't know off the top. Of Can me. I lift it? Um, it's bolted <laughs> down to the. Display. Oh, it's bolted down. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, I see. Um, you guys need to bring more info. People want to, you know, learn about this. This is a very good concept, and it's like round. All the mid drives are like bulky oval, square, you know, like all different shades, but like this. And if this is light and has a, does it have a gearbox inside? No. no? Just the motor, okay. Nope, it's just the motor and essentially it's um, generating power and then there's no mechanical coupling to your actual drive. It's just a generator. Just perfect. 
Just magnets and static, yeah. Yes, at least what you're seeing here is just the generator. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, really cool stuff. Let me go around. So, yeah, I heard about this company. There's not much info, only what they uh, show here, but uh, as you guys heard, zero maintenance. And it actually means zero maintenance. Just replace the bearings, but you have to cover hundreds of thousands, if not millions of uh, miles. And uh, I have a Model X, 50,000 miles on it in three years, and 40, 48 or 47,000 miles. And uh, just plug it in, plug it out, and that's pretty much it. And you place tires. So, yeah, really cool concept and idea. I hope we get more info later on. Thank you. Thank you.